Hello, my name is Rod Hadrian. I'm at the University of California, Irvine, the engineering department. We're currently testing lentils and beams on a 3D panel or tri-D panel or commonly called the tri-D panel building system. Here you see one of the panels or one of the lentils has been cut in a 16 inch piece. It's actually upside down right now. That piece at the top will go into the wooden form at the bottom. You can see where the foam has been removed from the top and a piece of wire mesh placed on the top. This is called U-mesh. I'm going to bring the camera around and show you to where you can see down the panel. This will be a small concrete beam. Basically, that's the panel right there, it's prefabricated. Any length up to 40 feet long, different thicknesses. The panel started 8 foot in length. Go up to 40 feet in length. Two story houses, we use these types of panels standing upright over rebar. You can get some idea of the thickness here as I get a close up. You can see the cross wires where they're welded through the panel. These panels are going to be tested for ceilings, roofs, and floors. There's the cross wire. Comes all the way through the panel. You can see it right there. It comes through one side and sticks out the other diagonally. Hey Freddie, hold the saw up. I want to show the viewers the saw blade if you can. Just turn it sideways for me if you can. That gives you some idea of what the blade looks like. We can get it to stop. This saw works pretty well. There are many methods of cutting, but this one is one that we like. You can see the diamond edge blade and so on. It's not too heavy. Thanks, Freddie. Here are a couple of the pieces that have already been cut that we're going to be preparing with the rebars here as soon as, as, soon as Julio gets the foam removed. We're at the University of California, Irvine. We're preparing cement mortar, a Portland cement mortar. Three parts sand, one part Portland cement, 20% lime. The ratio 20% lime to one part cement. Approximately four and a half gallons of water per mix. You can see Bill Hadrian down there playing with a mix. It's actually a tight, what we call a tight mix. So here you can see the mortar mix that Billy just put on the mud board for Kai. And Kai's applying it right now onto this 32 inch white lantern. Gives you some idea of the cement application. On a lot of the smaller jobs, we can actually hand apply the cement. On the, the larger jobs, then we bring in a pump. Uh, by taking the tray apart, we lift that piece off and separate it and the cubes come out. And then we can take this cube back to the back to the laboratory or send it out to a laboratory and they'll put pressure on this and then they'll, they'll use the multiplier. On this particular cube they divide by four and because it's four inches of surface area, it's two inches by two inches. And then we'll divide that amount of pressure by four and it gives us the PSIs. We're in the lab at the University of California, Irvine, testing Portland mortar. This cube is being, having pressure applied to it right now. You can read the numbers.
You can see the size of the hydraulic ram that's applying pressure. We currently have 18,000 pounds being applied. Deflection on it now. I think that was the end right there.
24,000 pounds or 34 kips? 36,000. 50 kips. We're at 50,000 pounds right now. 54 kips, what? 54,000 pounds right now. 57 kips. 57. 58. 58. 59. 59. Doug, I'm thinking it failed at the top.